So, today we have another GPO video, but this is more of a different kind of GPO video today. This is on a new GPO bot that um, someone DM'd me about uh, a few weeks back now, um, but I'm only just making about a video about it now, because I think it is relatively game-changing. Before I get any further on into the video, let me just remind you, if you do enjoy it all, be sure to like and subscribe, it is greatly appreciated, helps boost the algorithm and is amazing, all that stuff, uh, I love you so much. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So. I got a DM by this guy named uh, Majin, uh, probably butchered that name wrong, I'm sorry if I did, I'm sorry if you're watching this video. They asked me to DM them when I was online, so obviously I did, they took a while for them to get back, blah blah blah, whatever. And then he started explaining a bot that he had uh, made, and apparently it's been verified, all that stuff, and it is essentially, I'm just going to briefly explain it for you here, essentially the wiki, but in a discord bot style. So, say you're looking for something like Festival Lancer, that's the first thing that came to my head, you could look it up in the, on this bot, and it would essentially tell you everything you need to know about it. The, you know, um, the base M1 damage, uh, some of the moves it's got, stuff like that. Essentially the wiki, but on Discord. Now, that isn't the game-changing bit, in my opinion. I, I feel it's very easy just to search up the type of the weapon, or the fruit, or whatever you need, and go straight to um, Google, uh, to search it up, and the wiki will be like the first link that pops up every single time. So that isn't really the good bit for me. The bit for me, is the build maker. At the minute, there's obviously a lot of people making builds in a GPO, a bunch of YouTube videos, stuff like that. Everyone making these builds inside of GPO. However, with this Discord bot, you can save builds to the bot uh, via the cloud. It's essentially saving them online in the, the bot's like storage kind of area. And what you can then do is you can search for a build that other people have made. Essentially, say you want to find, I don't know, a build for Mever, you can find the perfect build for Mever. And like it will give you a weapon, it will give you armor, it will give you stats, it will give you everything. Which I think is absolutely amazing. Obviously this only works if there's more and more people, you know, like using it. So that is why I'm trying to promote it today. I uh, probably should have done this a little while ago when GPR had a few more players. Uh, but whatever, I'm only just getting to it now, I've been quite busy. So I will have this Discord linked down below in the description for you guys to go and join. I believe you can also add the bot uh, to your own Discord. Uh, so I'm going to add it to here, I'm going ahead and add it to my Discord server, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, I would recommend you join this Discord server, because this is the official Discord server for this bot. Uh, as you can see, it is still quite small, and there's not many people in here whatsoever. However, I also recommend joining my server, you know, there's quite a few people up in here. Uh, what about this poll, if I'm not live already? Uh, but yeah, there we go. You can see, the bot has now been added to uh, my server. So... Uh, what I could do is go to something like bot commands right here and do like slash and you can see they've got all the uh, commands here. So you can use that in my Discord server in this channel, whatever channel you want, whatever. Or you can go to the official Discord server and uh, do, do, do this. So you can see here I've been playing around with it a little bit when I first discovered it and when I first got told about it. And I'm just going to showcase what it has here. Uh, you might have seen in my DMs uh, he did send me a video. Uh, I'm not going to play that video here, it's basically just going to show what I'm going through. Uh, however, you know, just search up this uh, guy's YouTube channel and you'll be able to find it. But if I just do slash now, this is the only bot in the server, so it's got all these. Uh, these are all the, like, main commands right here. So, if we do slash wiki, game, Grand Peace Online. Uh, obviously, it's called Grand Stats, uh, so it's obviously going to be, like, you know, Grand Peace Games kind of thing. However, you know, this obviously adds more potential for more games. Maybe, like, a Project Slayers variant of it. Uh, but obviously, they've only got it for GPO at the minute. And you can see here, we've got all of these uh, outfits. And like all, all, the, all these accessories and stuff. Now let me try and search something that isn't on here. Okay, I don't see Gravity Cane on there. But if I search up G, there you can see uh, Gravity Blade. There we go. Uh, so they do have every single item in the game, I do believe. Okay, so obviously when, you know, a new update comes out, they're not going to have everything straight away. However, it's just like the wiki. They will have most of it. This probably gets all this information from the wiki anyway. So if I click on one source style, press enter. You can see it tells you where to get it. Uh, the price and how much it costs in total. And all of the abilities. We can do another search on the wiki, uh, in Grand Peace Online, and let's go and have a look at the, um, let's have a look at some, like, accessories. So, Ball's Cape. So, you know, it tells you that it's unobtainable, so anything like Cupid Wings, like, anything like that from, like, events back in the day, uh, obviously, you know, are, are going to be un unobtainable, so it's going to say it there. It shows you where it wears it, so obviously if it's, like, a cape, a uh, back accessory, whatnot, and all the extra buffs it gives. So that's essentially it from the wiki. It's obviously pretty basic. As I said before, you can just go to Google and get the information really quickly that way anyway. The thing that I think about this is that is game changing is the uh, build uh, feature. So if I go ahead and make a build using slash Grand Peace Online build, you'll obviously input your stats here. So whatever stats you're using right now. 
I also really like this because if you've got a build that you kind of want to save, you can use this bot to essentially save the build uh, for later. Uh, so if you want to, you know, test out something else, you can save this so you know exactly what stats are in what, uh, what accessories you've had on, and then you can go and change to something else and try something else out while still having all this information there so you can easily, easily get back to it. So let's just go for a pretty standard build. Uh, let's say we've got zero in strength, 500 in defense, uh, 500 in sword, 300 in devil fruit. Obviously, I don't know what the exact like max stats is you can have, uh, but I'm just gonna put some random numbers in here uh, anyway. I'm gonna put 20 in there, pretending we've got like Rokushiki or something. And if you go like that, it obviously shows you all the stat points. Uh, obviously, you know it, it, it's total points used, so obviously I haven't used all the points because obviously there's a bit more. I didn't know exactly what the total points used was. Maybe that's something they could add. Maybe they could say, "Oh, you've got this many points to spend," kind of thing. But then you can choose all these. So you can choose your equipment. Uh, where obviously you can use uh, so like all your accessories you got on chose crown I guess uh, face uh, soaking shades why not a neck uh, we'll go for peppermint scarf uh, obviously th this isn't like a proper build I'm just showcasing you guys uh, what, what it's got what its potential is uh, yeah let's just go and put these tomo drums on uh, now I think it's a shoulder accessory that's definitely not true uh, but uh, yeah let's just go back now I won't bother doing any more uh, obviously that goes back to the stats, uh, so we'll go back anyway, uh, and then you can change the name, uh, so I'm just going to name this uh, video, and then what you can do is you can save it, and then you can do slash again, and you can go for personal builds, this is where you can um, search for your builds that you made, so I've done a test build, this is the first thing I did, and you see it comes with all this stuff, uh, now this I want to point out, is that you can go over the total points used, uh, so obviously it's not exactly accurate, but if you're already going off a build you've already made, this should be exact anyway, I was just testing stuff out, I think I put like 5,000 in Devil Fruit or something just to see if it would cap out or whether it would literally be unlimited. But it does, it does cap out. Then we go back to personal builds, go back to the video one that I just made. And you can see, uh, it's got all the stuff there, all the buffs it gives, uh, all the points used, you know, the fruits. Uh, I didn't give myself a fruit, so I'm fruitless. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Now, as I said before, once again, the bit that is kind of game changing. Uh, let me just go and publish this because why not? I probably will set it to private later on anyway because it is kind of useless. So there's no point to have it actually set to public because it's just a test. Uh, but if I go to a uh, search build, you see there's a bunch of people here that a bunch of people have made. So these are two that I have made and then these are all ones other people have made. So, so there's not many. Uh, people might have either made their own, just not published them. But just, you know, you should... Um, Join this, join this Discord, use the bot, because uh, I believe it's not just on this server, it's just over the entire, uh, like, just the bot in general has it. So I go to my Discord server and go for uh, slash uh, search build. You can see we've got all of them, so yeah, it is just across the entire bot in general. So no matter what server this bot is on, you know, the, the, it will be showing them all. Okay, I've just set these to private real quick, just because, you know, I don't want any confusion, because they're not official builds. Uh, so yeah, let's go search builds again, and you can see we've got all this. So say you've got Torvi, there's one here for Torvi equipment. So it's just some good uh, accessories, obviously. So health regen equipment. I'm assuming this will have good health regen. Yes, 14.55 and 8 stamina regen. Wow, that is pretty, pretty solid. So obviously, you know, you can you can use a lot of this for like a lot of different things. If you were looking for a certain build, it could be on here if this gets big, uh, which I think it is. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this before. Um, I've seen stuff like the Project Slayer's trading value bot and stuff like that. But I haven't seen anything like, um, like, like a GPO like uh, wiki kind of thing. Uh, but obviously this has a build which is just better than the wiki because the wiki doesn't have this because the wiki's for information This is more of a build making kind of thing, which is the thing that sets it apart If it was just the wiki and the information I would say okay, it's useless. Let's go to Google. You can just easily search it up This is uh, better because it's got the uh, build feature to it. So yeah, that's about it for this video I think I've showcased everything just a quick uh, reminder that this discord server and my discord server both have the bot in them will be linked down below in the description uh, during this Discord server, if you want to get in touch with the owner, potentially. Because, you know, if you've got any questions or anything, I'm sure, seeing as the server isn't that big, uh, they'll probably answer it anyway. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. Hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. I might be going live on Fire Force Online later, depending on what the poll wins. Uh, but, yeah, I'll see you guys later.